Supporting Brothers is back here in Gardens at Bishan, District 20. This time around, we have a 4 bed 4 bath here to show you. And if you want to keep your price quantum below the $2.3 million mark to own a 4 bed 4 bath that has a good price action movement in the Bishan area, then do stay tuned for this home tour here with us. So let's go. So we are in the unit itself before we dive right into the interior here for you. Let us just touch a little bit about the projects and also orientate ourselves on where Gardens at Bishan is located at. So Gardens at Bishan is located in District 20s. We are just right beside the Wright Hill MRT station, which is the Thompson East Coast Line. So Gardens at Bishan is a huge project. There are a total of 756 units over here, ranging from the one bidders all the way to the four bidders right over here. So later on throughout the home tour, we will also touch on why the number of units in the project itself will also be important for you to consider if you are looking to retain or even uphold the value of your properties in the future. And just for size context, in terms of how big Gardens at Bishan is at, you do have three tennis courts over here, two lap pools, and you do have very generous sized green courtyard that's located right in the center of the entire project. And Gardens at Bishan also have a total of four blocks over here uh, that name after the four seasons around the world, such as spring, summer, autumn, and winter as well. With most of the facilities located in the center of all four blocks, this means that no matter where you're staying at in the project itself, you do get that same level of convenience to the facility. So if you are looking for a 4 bidder in Gardens and Bishan, you will notice that they are predominantly located at Block 1 as well as Block 9. So there are of course different pros and cons towards these two stacks. Let us dive right into that for you as well. If so, if you are someone that's looking for a 4 bidder that provides that level of convenience, then you may be looking at Block 1 itself. Block 1 itself will have a side gate access towards MRT stations as well as current bus stops over there. Now I think if you're someone that's looking towards a little bit more serenity, getting away from the hustle and bustle of the MRT station and bus stop, then ideally you will be looking at Block 9 itself that is located slightly further into the project, which is where we are located at today. So this unit over here is a 4-bit four 4-bar, four size at 1572 square feet over here. And the layout over here is actually one of the most comfortable 4 bidders that you can find in the areas. Because this layout itself will offer a great space for multi-generation living. And why do we say that? Because so looking at the current layout right now, you do have two ensuite bedrooms over here, namely your master room as well as bedroom 2 in this portion over here. So of course, looking at the original kind of layouts, you do have a bedroom that has a Jack and Jill kind of concept and offers the enhanced privacy for bedroom 1. But this this also means that if in the future, if you do intend to convert that Jack and Jill kind of concept back into your bedroom areas, and what this means is that there are essentially three ensuite bedrooms here for you. This layout also offers a very generous living and dining room in this L-shaped kind of fashion over here. So later on throughout this home tours, you will also get to see how functional this layout is actually like. There is a high level of livable space in the area because you do not have any balcony sites and this is really unique and most commonly found in older developments nowadays. So you do have your kitchen areas right at the back, great size for you to house your families as well as your friends over and of course your yard and utility areas for your daily necessities and the utility area can also be converted to your helper's room if you do require as well. So the 4 bidders also has a sense of rarity over here because looking at the entire project, 756 units, there are only about 76. So that makes up to be about 10% of the unit types here in Gardens and Bishan. So it's extremely rare to find a 4 bidder in this project and let alone one that is for sale here today. <laughs> Right, so starting in the four areas, the owners have already done up an electronic gate system. So this offers a keyless access is over here. Mirror has been done up on the side. So this offers a good spot for you to check yourself. So immediately after the four areas, you will also enter into your living room areas over here. And I think one of the highlights of the living room area is definitely going to be the views that offers in down here. Huge, large size window panels fronting towards the living and dining room space, inviting a lot of natural light. So you do have a condominium project that faces towards the front. So this is actually Thompson Grand itself. And when you come by for a physical view, you will also notice there is a good distance between your unit over here towards the next. And why is it so is that because we are actually fronting towards two roads that actually separates these two different projects. So one of the roads is actually your own Gardens at Bishan common road that is down here as well as Thompson Grand own road that is just right in front down here. So this offers a great distance block to block from your neighbouring project. So Gardens at Bishan itself is of course located in Bishan area. We are located also right beside the Bright Hill MRT station which is a Thompson East Coast line. Also a dual line access to the Cross Island line that stretches towards Passer is two stops down to Council Court MRT station, which is a circle line which will lead you to areas such as Botanic Gardens down to National Stadium. And with the circle line, it will also then connect you to the northeast lines in the Serangoon station. Now, coming back two stops further down from Council Court will also bring you towards the Stevens MRT stations, where over there you can hop onto the downtown line and it will take you to places such as Boogies as well as the east west line interchange. And just seven stops down from Bright Hill MRT station, you will be connected to Orchard Interchange, which is the north south line. And 
and one of Singapore's most popular shopping belt in the district. Gunsan Bishan is also just 10 minutes drive away to two shopping malls in the area, namely Thomson Plaza, so that you can get to find eateries as well as supermarkets. And further up at Amoko portions, you will get to find Amokyu Hub over there. Over there, you get to find supermarkets, eateries, as well as a cinema area. And if you're looking for food options in this area, I think you will definitely be spot for choice because we are located just 5 minutes drive away to the very famous Upper Thompson eateries. So over there you can find cafes, bars and then just a very popular spot for your supper times. And further up from us, we also get to find hawker centres such as Sambawang Hill Food Centres as well as Kajirina Curry that is located just right beside Lower Pierce Reservoirs. So speaking of greeneries, we are still located super close to Lower Pierce Reservoirs as well as Windsor Nature Parks. So if, I think if you want to have a little bit more relaxing time over the weekends with your families, this area is definitely very convenient for that. And towards this side over here, you will be facing towards it's Pierce Secondary School. Alright, so speaking of schools, we are located in Bishan area itself, which is a very, very popular area for schools. Just within one kilometer of where we are located at, we have three very popular schools, such as Aitong Primary School, Amogo Primary School, as well as CHIG St. Nicholas Primary School. What we really like about this dining space is this window that fronts towards this area right here, inviting a lot of natural light coming in. And if you notice, the dining space also gets its own TV set up over here. So I think this means that you can actually watch two different programs on two different areas of the house, in the living room space as well as the dining areas itself. So really, really large space, super nice for that. Uh, so let's head in and also check out the kitchen area. So step into the kitchen area, the kitchen area has also been renovated uh, just a few years back over here. The, the owners have done a gut renovations in the entire space. So essentially, you can still see that they are in very good conditions. You have a huge size fridge that is just right behind me. I think if you want to do a dual door fridge, definitely a lot of space for that. You have additional carpentries that is done up right beside here. So tons of space for you to put your kitchen wares all the way to the bottom portions here as well. Mm. Open flame cooker hood over here. I think if you probably want to expand to like a four or do an induction system, it's definitely possible. And what we really like for this kitchen space is the glass area that's just right over here. So I think this is a good area over here so that you can watch over your guests or your kids as you're prepping up the meals for them. So there are also an oven that's done up on the side. So if you love to bake and you love to cook, this is really nice for that. So moving on to this portion over here is your sink area. So now the sink area is large enough to do a dual sink. Ideally, if you want to do a single large sink, it's also possible. Window ventilations down over here. So I think it's really important because as you're doing your cooking, you want to be able to dispel out the smells. You also do have an enclosable glass door over here. So this means that as you're cooking, you will not have to worry about the smells getting into your living and dining room areas. So for the yard areas itself, you will have an extended hanging rack that is located over here. You can also choose to enhance and improve the system over here to accommodate for more hanging racks that helps you to shoot out and naturally dry your clothes. And I think one very important factor is that you do have your rubbish chute located right in this portion over here. Super convenient for that. You of course have your washer area here. So there's still enough space for you to stack up a washer and dryer. And let's say you do not want to dry your clothes unnaturally. WC areas that's located right over here as well. So perfect areas where you do your additional washing or your helper's bathroom. So the back of portion down here is the utility room. Right now the owners use it as a storage areas but ideally if you want to convert this into a helper's room it's definitely possible. You can fit in a single size bed that is down here. There's still window ventilation right in the corner over here. So really really functional for that. Alright, so let's also touch a little bit more about the price action movement in the Bishan areas concerning gardens at Bishan. Now, anytime we are looking and analyzing prices in a certain area, we always have to look at the newer projects. And why do we say so? It's because the newer projects will be the ones that are leading in terms of the PSI pricing as well as quantum pricing over here. So taking a look at the Bishan areas, we can find sky views at Bishan that TOP in the year of 2017 for 2000 PSF for a size of 2207 square feet. And that puts the total quantum pricing in the $4.5 million range. Now coming back to Gardens at Bishan, the nearing projects that are slightly newer are Thompson Impressions that TOP in the year of 2019. Now as of current, there are no 4 bidders in the market. But for the 3 bidders over there, they are having an asking price that are close to the $2 million ranges which puts their PSF pricing in the 1008 PSF. Thompson Granite that is just right beside us that TOP in the year of 2015 the 4 bidders there size at 1722 square feet is having an asking price of 2.8 million dollar ranges which is ranging closer towards the 3 million dollar mark and its PSF is in the range of 1006 per square feet now taking a look at the beautiful project that is just about the TOP which is Jetscape that is just down the road the 4 bidders over there are size at 1421 square feet uh, they are asking around the range of 3 million which will then put the PSF pricing in the range of 2000 to 2001 PSF so other than taking a look at projects and new 
real projects and soon to be tier 3 projects, we also have to look further on towards the future as well. And taking a look at the Bishan area as well as the Amokyo regions, we can see that there are GLS sites that have been announced in recent times. So taking a look at the GLS that is announced along Amokyo Avenue 1, so there were 15 bidders for that plot of land over there and we'll estimate the developer's selling price in the range of 2001 to 2002 per square feet. And having a look at the other GLS plot which is at Lantor Central, the estimated break-even price for the developers is in the 1009 ranges which then estimates the selling price from the developers to be in the range of 2002 to about 2003 PSF pricings. So this means that in the future for owners that are going to be purchasing these newer launch developments will be intending to profit from their investment. So this means that in the future we will be seeing newer condominium projects with the asking PSF of about the mid 2000s to the high 2000 ranges as well. And soon the Bishan district will then be getting used to the 2000 plus PSF pricing. So now coming back to our unit over here, size at 1572 square feet with the asking price of 2.25 million just below the 2.3 quantum mark that puts the PSF in the 1004 plus ranges. And as we pull up the entire comparisons, we can actually see that there is a huge amount of disparity and what the future prices in this area would be commanding. We'll be seeing prices in terms of per square foot in the mid 2000 ranges and that leaves about a thousand PSF difference from our unit to the future units. So now let's head on in and check out the bedroom areas. And before that, we will be also greeted with this extra portion that is right over here. That's just right beside your dining areas. What you can do is that you can insert a desk setup if you're working from home. Ideally, you can also choose to leave this area as a playpen for your growing kids. Just look at the length from the dining area space all the way to the living areas itself. I think this is a great space for your kids to run around and also create many happy family memories over here. So now let's head in and check out the bedroom areas. <laughs> So stepping into the first common room over here, we have flooring that is done in parking on this side. The owners have converted this space into their own study desk, so you do get a very huge large size desktop over here, there's still a resting chair, and of course a very nice windows that is done on the side to allow for natural light to come in. So ideally if you want to convert this space into your own bedroom as well, some of the configurations that you will be thinking about would be that you can consider to put your bed right in this portion down here, and then of course your study desk, you can choose to position it right over here with additional wardrobe space done up on the side. And this panel over here. So of course you do have a bay window that's located right over here. So some of the things that you can also choose to put for these areas is that you can choose to put up family portraits or miscellaneous items that you will need for your work as well. So now let's head on to the bedrooms that's just right beside which is the junior master. So the junior master comes in great size over here. We have fitted with a single size bed in this portion. Ideally, if you want to expand it to a queen size bed, there's definitely more than enough space to do that over here. There's still display cabinets located right on the side in this portion as well as a suspending one over here. Views towards this junior master fronting towards the same view as we saw in the living dining areas. So fronting towards this protected view that allows a lot of natural light and wind flow into the space. So I think ideally, if you want to convert these bedrooms probably into your parents' room to encourage more multi-generation living, or what you can do is you can then orientate your bed to be located right over here. So over here, you can definitely fit in a queen size bed. So wardrobe space to be repositioned into these areas right here. So there's tons of space for you to do your wardrobe areas. And of course, the portion that is right fronting towards the bed. So you can then choose to do up a TV feature wall. Now let's head in and check out the ensuite bathroom down here. <laughs> So your washroom area comes with a sink, your toilet bowl as well as the standing showers and you will notice that all of the bathroom spaces has window ventilations to help to dispel out the moisture. I think some of the very nice details that's been done up in this bathroom area, there's definitely the granite tabletop that is down here and you also do have additional storage spaces located right at the bottom over here. So now let's head on in to check out the other bedroom that's located just right beside. So coming into this space, we have fitted this bedroom with a single size bed. There is additional water spaces that is done up all the way towards the side over here. And this is actually the very special room that we mentioned earlier on the videos that the owners have actually concealed the Jack and Jill bathroom toilets that is down right over here. What the owners have done as well is that they have actually left the doors to the Jack and Jill bathroom. So in the future, if you do decide to kind of open up the space and have this as your third ensuite bedroom, you can also choose to do so by removing the wardrobe spaces down over here. And you can also do a hybrid version in terms of the wardrobe as well as the study space. So what you 
can do is that you can choose to do up a wardrobe area that stretches all the way to the top to maximize the space areas and choose to do up a study space that is located just right beside over here. Starting towards the same as what we saw in the living and dining room areas which is this very nice view in the front. So now let's head on the side and check out the common bathroom areas. So common bathroom located in this portion over here as mentioned earlier the owners have sealed in the door towards the access on the bedroom beside. So that also means that there is an enhanced level of privacy for whoever is sleeping down here. So common bathroom is in good size. You have a longish granite tabletop that we saw earlier on in the master room as well. Storage space is down up at the sides. Your toilet bowl is located over here and also a standing shower. So before we head in to check out the master, let us just also touch on the rental play for this unit. So where does the numbers actually lie in the rental play? Let us also dive into that. With the current asking price at $2.25 million negotiable, with the bank interest rate at 1.8% and a loan of 30 years, it will then bring your monthly mortgage in the range of $6,070. Now to take a scenario, if both you and your husband are each 30 years old with a combined household income of $12,000, it will then put your monthly OA contribution in the range of $2,760. So taking a look at the records for four bidders in these areas, they are usually rented out $5,000 per month at the monthly mortgage rate of $6,070 after deducting your OA contribution at $2,760. That will mean a cash top up of $3,310. Now if you were to rent this space at $5,000 per month, that will be more than enough to cover the cash top up and still have access of $1,690 and these are additional cash top up here for you that you can choose to spend on your family expenses as well. So we think that taking a look at the rental play, it is in a very healthy form. So no matter if you do intend here for own stay or to rent it out temporarily in the futures, I think you can rest easy on this. So master room is in superb size. We have fitted with a king size bed. There's still additional space for your side tables. You will have these huge windows that's located on the side to invite a lot of natural light and brighten up these areas. So I think if you come out here for physical viewings, you will also get to enjoy a lot of natural light into your space. Of course, wardrobe spaces are located in this portion over here. Now it stretches all the way from the door towards the side over here. And you might be wondering, hey, where is then the bathroom? So it's actually very specially hidden right beside this wardrobe over here. So let's go check it out. So the master ensuite is actually located in this wardrobe areas over here so it's super well hidden and it's very well concealed it actually took us a while to actually find this area you also do have a standing showers on this side which i think is really unique because you do not only have a bathtub that's located on this corner but as well as a standing shower and of course window ventilations super important as well all right so in terms of the orientation of this unit let's also touch a little bit about that so for the master room as well as the common room on the side they faces towards the northeast portion so you do get very nice morning sun coming as well as the wind coming in from the north portions now for the living and dining room including the other bedrooms on the sides so they will be facing towards the northwest portion over here now if you're someone that's concerned about the northern sun exposure you will be glad to know that the condominium projects right besides will help you to block some of the western sun exposures so you will only get mostly the northern wind exposures coming in from the low-rise school that is just right beside you. So we've come to the end of this home tour videos now hope you have enjoyed this tour here with me if you're looking for a four bed four bath size at 1572 square feet in gardens at bishan with an amazing price action movement that helps to retain its value towards the futures highly functional layout over here for you and your families to facilitate multi-generation living then do contact our listing managers their contact details are in the description box below do also remember to follow us on our social media channels we're on youtube facebook instagram as well as tiktok my name is sean from Bobby Brothers, always happy to show you the place. I'm not ready. <laughs> uh, you see how close you actually are, Okay, now. Hi.